From prior research findings, we know that online data visualizations are so inaccessible that screen reader users extract information about 61% less accurately and spend about 211% more time compared to non-screen reader users. Clearly, that's unacceptable. So to address this problem in this work, we present FoxLens, an open source interactive JavaScript plugin that makes online data visualizations accessible to screen reader users using a multimodal approach, requiring only a single line of code. I'm Arthur Sharif, a fourth year PhD student at Paul G. Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering at the University of Washington. This work is a collaboration between Olivia Wong, Alida Mongcheng, Katarina Reinecke, Jacob Wabrock, and myself. And on behalf of all of my collaborators, today I'll be presenting VoxLens and its functionality and the results from our evaluation. Thank you for joining us. But first, let's familiarize ourselves with the term screen reader users. Screen reader users utilize a screen reader software to read the contents of their computer screen. They may be blind or have low vision or have learning disabilities or motion sensitivity. Now let's discuss the current state of the accessibility of online data visualizations. Prior work has made plausible contributions in making online data visualizations accessible to screen reader users by automatically generating alternative text, sonified versions of the graph, or otherwise known as the audiographs, haptic graphs, 3D printing, and trend categorization. But at least one of these is true for all of them. They require additional equipment or devices. They're not practical for spontaneous everyday web browsing. They do not offer a multimodal solution, and they do not explore the varying preferences of visualization interaction among screen reader users. In contrast, Voxlens does not need any additional equipment, is designed for spontaneous everyday web browsing, and offers a multimodal solution catering to the individual needs and abilities of screen reader users. Now, I will discuss the process that we followed in creating VoxLens. We used a user-centered iterative design process. First, we conducted Wizard of Oz studies with five screen reader users, gathering insights on their interaction with online data visualizations to finalize three modes of interaction for VoxLens. With VoxLens integrated, when a user came across an online data visualization, they would hear the following. Graph with title, price by car brands. To interact with the graph, press Ctrl plus Shift plus A or Ctrl plus Shift plus 1 all together and in order. You'll hear a beep sound, after which you can ask a question such as what is the average or what is the maximum value in the graph. To hear the textual summary of the graph, press Ctrl plus Shift plus S or Ctrl plus Shift plus 2. To hear the audio graph, press Ctrl plus Shift plus M or Ctrl plus Shift plus 3. To repeat these instructions, press Ctrl plus Shift plus I or Ctrl plus Shift plus 4. Key combinations must be pressed all together and in order. You can then interact with the modes by pressing the appropriate key combination. The first mode was the question and answer mode, where users were able to verbally interact with the visualization. Here is a sample interaction using the Q&A mode of VoxLens. What is the maximum? Alert, I understand you're looking for maximum. Maximum value of price for car brands is 290,000 belonging to Ferrari. Tell me the mean minimum and standard deviation alert it seems like you asked about the average minimum and standard deviation average of price for car brands is 60,000 minimum value of price for car brands is 20,000 belonging to Kia standard deviation of price for car brands is 78,800 the second mode was a summary mode which enables users to get a holistic view of the data through a summary we used the findings from prior work to generate the contents of the summary. A summary response from VoxLens sounded like this. Graph with title, price by car brands. The x-axis is car brands. The y-axis is price. The maximum data point is 290,000 belonging to Ferrari, and the minimum data point is 20,000 belonging to Kia. The average is 60,000. Finally, our third mode was the sonification mode or the audiograph mode. Audiographs are commonly used. In fact, Apple recently introduced audiographs for their products. But for the audiograph solutions that currently exist, they're either proprietary, they need extra software or hardware installation, or they're incompatible with existing JavaScript libraries. 
Since our work focuses on online visualizations created using JavaScript libraries, our goal was to create a separate open source solution that can be integrated into any JavaScript library, even outside of Voxlens. So we implemented a Sonify solution that sounds like this. Alert. Now, I will discuss the evaluation of Voxlens. We evaluated Voxlens using a task-based experiment with 21 screen reader users and conducted follow-up interviews, randomly selecting six of them. Our 21 screen reader users used Voxlens in our experiments and we compared their performance to 36 screen reader users who did not use Voxlens. Here, we have two graphs. The first one shows the accuracy of extracted information per visualization library and the second one shows the interaction times per visualization library. Accuracy of extracted information is represented as percentages and is plotted on the y-axis. Average interaction times are represented using the unit of seconds and are plotted on the y-axis. The x-axis shows screen reader users with and without Voxlens. Both the accuracy of extracted information and interaction times were significantly different between the two groups. Voxlens improved the accuracy of screen reader users by 122% and reduced their interaction time by 36%, simultaneously improving both the accuracy and interaction times. Our follow-up interviews showed that our participant considered Voxlens as a positive step forward in making online data visualizations accessible. They also found that interactive dialogue was the top feature of Voxlens. More details about our work, including participant information, Voxlens features, and additional findings are presented in our paper. Marriott et al. put forward a call to action, asserting the need to improve the accessibility of online data visualizations for disabled people. Voxlens is one response to that call to action. It is our hope that our work can create avenues for future work and inspire other researchers to explore the accessibility of online data visualizations more to address this disenfranchisement, whether that is through extending the functionalities of Voxlens or building a different solution altogether. There's a lot that needs to be done to make the experiences of screen reader users with online data visualizations equitable to those who don't use screen readers. We would like to thank the organizers and reviewers for Kai for recognizing our work and giving us the opportunity to present our work today. Thank you.